Hello there guys, welcome to AppSheet and More. In this session, we're going to be doing something very exciting with Enum List. So one thing about Enum List is that they are great when it comes to selecting multiple choice, but they're not really great when it comes to displaying what you've selected. In this video, I'm going to show how you can display your Enum List as an actual list. So if you're excited, let's do this in AppSheet. So let's get started. So in this video, like I was saying, we're going to try and list out an enum list. Okay. So initially with an enum list, when you select them by default, it's going to come as comma denominated, right? Um, but then what we want to do is to achieve something like this, where we have our list, okay, vertical, not uh, horizontal and with commas. Okay. So if I'm adding a new person's list, so when I come here and I click edit, okay, and I say acceptable mode of payments, I select cash, I select mobile money, I select card, I select crypto, I click done, and I click save, and I have something like this, right? So let's see how this can be done. Okay, so before I'm going to actually um, do this, I'm going to try and explain a little bit about HTML, which is the main concept of what we're using. So in any website, right, there's something called HTML that actually defines the structure of your website, okay? So where texts are placed and so on and so forth, okay? So um, they have something we call tags and every tags has what it does or what it means. Okay. So I'm going to try and create some columns. So you appreciate what this is all about. So let's say I'm creating a text, right? So bold, um, bold in text, bold in text, right? So if I have something like this, um, Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? All right? Um, how do I save this? Click save. Okay, bring this back up. Click done. All right? So I have a board in I have a text like this. Hello, Daniel, how are you doing? All right? I'm going to show this here somewhere. So come here and then I'll come to details and i'm just going to add this column board in text add up here okay so hello daniel how are you doing now let's say suppose i want to board in just daniel so i want to have hello then daniel then how are you doing right now over here i can use this h tag to make this possible okay so first what you have to do is you have to place this in a paragraph tag, which is a P tag. Okay. So I have something like this P tag. Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? All right. When I save this, I change this to long text to use HTML. It has to be long text. That's one thing. So when I save this, you're going to see that like this. So hello, Daniel, how are you doing? As in P tags, P tags are paragraph tags, right? Basically. Now, when you come here to settings, come to general, and then you allow preview in new in new features you go back here and then you set this to um html now actually knows that you're trying to use html um, styling or writing so it's going to put this as a paragraph so hello daniel how are you doing no more so i can go here and add more html tags and say okay now I'm bolding this so b b is for bold Right, I'm going to click save. I'm going to click done, and then you see you have hello Daniel, which is bolding. We can also use strong. Um, strong can also highlight a word bolding and strong. There are several HTML tags. I advise you to explore those. Strong, so save, done, and you still have the same thing. We have underline. So in strong, I can also underline. So that's a U tag. So you see, this is the opening tag. And then the closing tag is basically the same thing, but you have a slash in there before the alphabet or whatever the tag is. So I click done and you have a hello underline Daniel. How are you doing? Right. So basically that's HTML styling, which has not been brought into app sheet. Right now, one of the styling is you can make something a list. Okay. So if I want to create a list, okay, so I'm going to take this out. To create a list, it's either an ordered list or an unordered list. So UL for unordered, 
this is the opening and this is the closing tag right so this makes absolutely know that this entire thing is an unordered list let me put this in double quotation everything has to have a tag open and closing tag right and then in there you're going to show the items of the list so all of them will also be in tags as well that's the thing about html so opening closing um this is the opening and closing tag for each item in the list i'm going to copy this so i'm going to say this is apple um the second item is going to be in a tag which is going to be ball the third item is going to be an item which is going to be a car the next item is going to be in a tag it's going to be a doll okay so you have the main opening and closing which is here right and each item is in a tag of its own a list tag of its own you see this right yeah okay so i'm going to save this i'm going to click done and let's see how it looks like good so you see you have it listed apple ball card door mind you the only reason why this is possible is because you set this to long test which is number one and number two you've allowed the preview in new features option other than that it's not going to work right let me just save this okay so this is an ordered on ordered list right we have ordered list as well where you have numbers so i'm going to click this come here and then for an ordered list this has to just be ol so ol ol right i'm going to click save here click done and save okay so now you have what an ordered list so one two three four so based on which one you want you either use ordered or unordered okay now what we want to achieve is an unordered list right where we have our accepted enum list so whatever has been um, selected as a certain mode of payment our enum list will be ordered this way instead of having it in commerce denominated that way so how do we achieve this so we're going to try and come up with a very slick formula that is going to combine this that's the opening tag and the closing tags right with the enum list in there so let's see how we can do this so i'm going to start off by creating a drop down list that can be multiple selected okay so i'm going to come here to my table view data source okay here in vendors i'm going to add accepted mode of payment right so i set the mode of payment i'm going to come back here come here and i'll regenerate okay so this is going to be an enum list right here let me just provide quickly some options so the first one is going to be cash next one is going to be bank we have momo we have card and we have crypto crypto all right i'm going to click done i'm going to click save okay so that is going to save it in now when i select an item from an enum list by default right it's going to be comma separated right but i don't want it to be comma separated what i want it to be separated by is my tags right so let me just show you this so right here realize that each item is separated by the closing l tag and an opening l tag right closing l tag and opening l tag so i'm going to copy this save this click done here in my enum list and that item separator i can choose what will separate the items that i select so i'm going to put this so these two are going to be in between every item selected so i'm going to click done you see this right and then when i come here and i click on this add button here and the acceptable mode of payment when i select cash bank and card click done click save come back to vendors um we sell cars oh, where's my list hold on so vendor details click on this plus button acceptable list good bring this up right so you see now we have our cash 
Then the closing L tag, opening L tag, bang, closing L tag, opening L tag. Good. So every item that is selected will have this closing and opening L tag, right? Now, all we need to do to make this work, right, is to now concatenate this opening component and this closing component with our selected list. Okay, so I'm going to create one more virtual column for the purpose of this. I'm going to call this payment mode. Okay. And payment mode here, I'm just going to say concatenate, which is to combine things. So concatenate this with UL, which is the opening tag for an ordered list, LI, right? And then take my accepted mode of payment and then you combine this with the closing of these guys. So basically, LI comes first, which is the closing of the LI tag, and then UL. Also, you are closing that as well. Right? I'm going to click Save. Click done. Okay. So when I set this to long test, right, and I come to vendor list, I'm going to bring this here. So add payment mode, save. I'm going to bring this up here. Take this guy out. Let's see what we have. Okay. So we have payment mode. You have ULULI, cash, bank, card. Then closing tag of this and closing tag of that. And then you notice that in AppSheet, right, it's still changing this to commerce. It's not representing it by what we actually asked it to represent it by. If it did, this should work. The reason is because AppSheet knows that that column you selected is an enum list. So it will always display the enum list with a comma, even though in the data, it's not showing us that. So I'm going to come back here, come to my formula. Right, I'm going to tell AppSheet that, okay, AppSheet, this is not an enum list anymore. I'm going to try and track AppSheet. This is not a list anymore, an enum list anymore. It's simply a text. So just treat it as a text. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click save here. Okay, now let's see what happens. Good. So now we have what we're looking for. So we have the opening tag for this, UL, opening tag for LI. Then you have cash, closing tag, opening tag for bank, closing tag, opening tag for card, closing tag, and then the closing main tag for the UL. So I'll come to payment mode, set this to HTML, and then voila, you have this. You have cash, you have bank, and you have card, okay? So basically, we're not going to show this guy payment mode here. Over here, I'm going to take him out, so I don't display him in the detail view, right? I mean, we have this, so cash, bank, and card. Now let's try this out for another vendor. So I'm going to click here. Okay. So I'm going to click on this add button over here. Come to mode of payment, cash, momo, card, crypto, bank. Let's just select everything. Let's see what happens. Click done. Click save. Right. And you see what cash, bank, momo, card, and crypto. Oh, hold on. Let me save this. Yes, so it still works. So guys, that's a very neat way you can go on to edit to enum list. So I display it as a list and not as comma denominated. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.